Hello there, everybody. Thank you for tuning in for your monthly forecast for the month of May. Just want to go over some things really quick so that you guys know what we're looking at. First of all, this is not a comprehensive look at the whole month. What I am looking at is one theme that you're working on at some point during the month. Um, I'm actually technically looking at one particular life cycle, and we all have several different life cycles that we go through. And um, usually they will tend to overlap. So you could have a life cycle in love, in work, in family. Um, a life cycle basically just sets us up to either learn something or experience something. And as we learn that lesson or experience that, um, experience then as we incorporate that into our lives more fully we come to the end of the life cycle or the fulfillment of the life cycle and we get grad ready to graduate on to the next life cycle so that's what I'm looking at here is a life cycle I'm looking at the setup the lesson or the um, experience and then um, the fulfillment of the life cycle as you incorporate that lesson or experience so um, like I said this is not comprehensive this is not going to be giving you a heads up of all the major things that are happening for the month but it will highlight one of the major themes for you okay so let's get on with your monthly reading hello there fellow Scorpios thank you for stopping by for your monthly insights for the month of May what I have coming up that talks to us about our environment for this month is that um, hmm, I feel like, well, first of all, let me back up. Environment can be any place where we have energy or effort invested. Usually I see it come up as home, but sometimes it will come up as work or as school. So just kind of keep an open mind. Any place where you have energy or effort invested. Um, but what I'm seeing about the environment is that we are um, we're basically outgrowing the environment um, I feel like the environment that we are in has served us very well for a while and now um, it's time to move forward we're kind of bursting at the seams we need to have more space or we need to have a place that gives us the, the opportunity to um, just to put in more of the tools that we would normally use and have them be more convenient for us so that we can do the things that we want to do with more efficiency. Um, so basically outgrowing, we're outgrowing our environment is what comes up here. Um, the second um, thing I'm looking at is our subconscious leanings. And our subconscious leanings um, really have to do with relationship. Um, this could be that our subconscious is working on romantic relationship could be that it's working on friendship business partnership um, but this is some kind of relationship and our subconscious is kind of kicking around okay the relationship seems to be going pretty good right now what can we do to keep it on track or what can we do to deepen the bond but basically this is um, you know we had a really rough run there with relationship for a while and if you listen to some of the other readers I think that it's still going on for a lot of Scorpios but um, what I'm really picking up here is that we're in a situation now where we have a relationship that's pretty steady <laughs> relatively speaking to what we've been through at least and that um, we just want to keep it going that way <laughs> that would be like wonderful for us um, but also I feel like in our subconscious too we're working on how can we deepen that bond how can we make this better how can we strengthen that foundation on that relationship so subconsciously um, is is what we're where we're working on this so this isn't making it up to the conscious level all the time but it is kind of running in the background all the time okay now um, the next thing I'm looking at is learning style and also communication style let's see here <clears throat> looks to me like we're learning a lot about ourselves as we go through this particular life cycle we are really starting to look at our fears in the eye and understand where those come from but also understand that maybe those fears aren't so rational and even if they are rational maybe they're not so healthy for us to be uh, spending so much time on so I feel like we're actually learning a lot about ourselves from the fears that we are looking at um, during the month of May 
communication style. <laughs> I feel like there's somebody in our life that's uh, that this life cycle has to do with who is um, someone who is always on the run, always on the go. Uh, they like to just jump up and leave their kind of a restless type of soul. And I feel like uh, for communication style with this person, we're almost feeling like we have to like chain them to the wall or something to actually be able to communicate with them. It's really an interesting thing that's coming up here. Um, obviously, we're not going to be doing that literally. <laughs> but I feel like with our communication style, we have some frustration because um, it seems like it's hard to get this person to... Um, just stand still long enough to actually hear what we're saying. And we know that what we're saying, if that person could hear it, would actually improve um, the situation and the relationship with that person. Next, what I have coming up for our work is um, an interesting card. First of all, let me tell you, work can be one of two things with me. It can be that thing that you do to make a living or those things for some of you that you do to make a living. Um, it can also be those things that we do to improve our inner self or our character. And so what's coming up for work is the idea of going back to something that we had left behind before. So this may be going back to an old job. This may be moving back to an old town that we used to live in to work. This can be um, maybe going back to a department that we used to work in that we haven't worked in for a while. This can be um, going back to an industry that we used to work in, maybe a different company, but an industry that we used to work in. Um, this can be even something as simple as maybe there's somebody who is out sick at work and they replaced you in your old position when you got promoted or moved around. And now because that person's out sick, you're the person that knows how to do that job. So you could be going back and filling in for that person while they're out for a while um, this month. That could be what's showing up here, something like that. Um, but it's, it has to do with going back to something that you had left behind. Um, now, if we're looking at inner work, this can be where maybe we were doing some work on some part of ourselves and we kind of felt like we hit a wall and we just couldn't move forward. And so we decided to go ahead and just look at some other aspect of ourselves and work on that other aspect. Now we would be coming back to that um, feeling like um, we have better tools to help us work with this and feeling like we have a shot at making this go forward and having that breakthrough or maybe we had a breakthrough that we feel like will really help us propel forward through this thing that we were working on before where we hit a wall. So this is just going back and doing some more inner work on something that we had been working on improving before. This is just going back and, and finishing that up or taking that to the next level. The next thing that I'm looking at is that part of our um, personality that is being grown or expanded right now. <laughs> what an interesting card we have. <clears throat> Basically, this card talks about um, being in a place where we feel like we have plenty of resources and being very willing to share those resources even when the person or the company or whatever, the charity, whatever, that we're sharing the resources with, even when we have kind of some questions about um, maybe their loyalty to us or maybe their truthfulness about where this um, money or these resources are actually going. Um, even though we think things may not be exactly as they appear, I feel like we are still um, sharing our resources in good faith anyway. Um, and I feel like that's the part of us that's being grown or expanded right now. Um, I think that's a little interesting. I don't know how many of us want to grow or expand that part. <laughs> but um, there must be a reason for it. The uh, next thing that I'm looking at is those things that you stand for. And this really talks about grace, about letting things slide, about um, just cutting people some slack around us. 
And so I feel like um, we're being very graceful. We're letting things slide and cutting some people some slack around us. Obviously, with the lesson that we're learning, we definitely are. This kind of says that not only are we learning to do that, we are um, even standing up for the idea of doing that, that we are in this place where we know that what we're doing is the right thing to do in this particular situation and if anybody doesn't like it they can just step right off the curb we don't need to hear that opinion thank you very much we've got this covered okay um, the next card that comes up talks to me about how other people are perceiving us right now um, what I really am pulling off of this is other people are perceiving us as a work in progress so I feel like People around us are seeing that we are making changes, that we are doing that inner work on ourselves, and that's pretty normal for us as Scorpions. You know, with Pluto as a ruler, we're always reinventing ourselves, um, and the people around us are seeing that, oh, she, here she's in another reinvention phase. Um, they're working on something, and so that's kind of what they're seeing. They're, I, I get the impression that they're kind of almost waiting to sit back to see, okay, well, where is this going to take that person? What are they going to be like when they're done with this? Um, let's see. The lesson or experience that we have is, <clears throat> is this us or is this someone else we're interacting with? Okay, so we're going to be interacting with someone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little frog there. We're going to be interacting with someone who, for most of us, will be female. But, you know, I don't really lock into genders in a general reading. For some of us, it will be male. But this is somebody who has um, seen a lot of trouble in her life. I mean, she has really lived through the grinder. She may have lost a spouse to death. She may have lost a child to death. Um, she has been through some stuff. And um, she's incredibly intelligent, and she's been able to take those harsh experiences that she's been through and blend them with the positive experiences of life and come out with a very stable, logical way of seeing things and of gleaning lessons from things. <clears throat> this woman is somebody who is not um, bitter and who is not resentful. She's somebody who has already come through the depression or maybe even the grief of dealing with some of the situations she's had to deal with. You know, maybe she herself has been traumatized in the past directly. Um, and she's somebody who really has a level head. She doesn't get ahead of herself or ahead of the situation. And so this is somebody that we are interacting with. And I feel like we come out of this interaction um, with, first of all, some admiration for this person, for what she's been through, he or she has been through, and for what, how they have managed to come out of it in a sane, level-headed, logical place um, without letting what they've come through just really get the best of them and totally send them off the deep end. Um, not only are we coming out of that with admiration for them, we are also really learning from them. I think that by watching them, by listening to them, and for many of us, this is going to be somebody who is much older than us, who has seen a lot more life than us. And by watching and listening to them, I think that we are going to pick up some um, very important skills in how to handle life as it comes to us. So um, coping skills for one, but I don't I don't want to just put it in that box because to me I feel like some of these skills are not just for coping or surviving but um, for thriving even in a situation that seems like um, nobody could thrive in and so I feel like we really learn a lot from this person uh, for some of us I'm feeling like we're just gonna see this person on TV and hear them talk in an interview about some of the things they've been through and how they handled them uh, but for a lot of us, this is going to be somebody in person, an elder, that um, we can have some respect for and that we can really learn a lot from. As we get into fulfillment of this life cycle, um, there are some interesting things going on. I feel like we, first of all, I feel like we take some kind of rash 
action. <laughs> so we make a bad decision and we do something based on this bad decision. And I feel like this actually affects our sense of security in the world. So maybe we do some impulse spending or uh, maybe we decide to buy something that is really way bigger than our budget is set up for. Uh, but there's something that comes up as far as um, setting back our sense of security in the world and it's tied to this rash behavior. And I do feel like we're going to have to ask for some help to get ourselves out of this fix that we get into. Because <laughs> that does come up that we're asking for help here tied in with this other stuff. We may even be asking for help from this elder that we've been talking to. I feel like um, maybe part of what we're talking to her about is this action that we've taken and how it set us back and asking her for help in how can we turn things around and move back forward again. So there we have it, Scorpios. Everybody, thank you so much for coming out, for hanging out with me, for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, and for commenting. I do appreciate everybody's support. You all have a fantastic month, and I will see you back here the next time. Peace out.